What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can increase the overall volume of your stereo in your car or anything that uses a 3.5 mil jack using a simple electronic device called a headphone amplifier. So, let's get it. It is the Neotech headphone amplifier. It's a little device that helps to amplify the sound coming out of your auxiliary by plugging it into this first and then letting it come out of your headphones, your auxiliary, your sound system, your PlayStation um, headphones, basically anything that uses a 3.5mm auxiliary jack. Just like our cars use, we also use a 3.5mm auxiliary plug. That's how this device can come in. Now, I'm not sure how it is for every car out there, but I know for a fact that some of the W204s out there experience a lack of volume when it comes to using your auxiliary. Now this is the auxiliary that is built into the car. If you have the multimedia interface like I do where you can switch out the interface to USB, auxiliary or iPod, then you may not experience this issue because I have the exact same multimedia interface and I don't seem to have that problem. However, in my Lexus IS350, I do experience this problem and the issue is that I would have to turn up the volume to maximum just to get decent sound coming out of the car stereo. And it's very annoying because once you switch back to radio or CD or um, USB player, it is so loud because you have the volume turned up to max that it pretty much gives you a little shock and it's very annoying and it's also very frustrating and I dare say even dangerous because that little shock could probably even cause you to like swerve for a second because you're like holy crap that's so loud. Those of you who experience this issue know exactly what I'm talking about. When you get that little jolt because the system is so loud once you switch it back to radio or CD or you know USB player. So that's why I wanted to um, show you guys this little device that I got in order to help increase the overall volume of the car stereo and it's a very simple device anybody can use it it doesn't take a genius to figure it out all you have to do is basically plug this in between your auxiliary and the device you're using to play music off in this case we're going to use a mobile phone you have um, auxiliary in and then auxiliary out the out will then obviously go to your car system because you want the sound to go to amplify from this and go into your car stereo. So you have to plug an auxiliary into the headphone jack of this device and then you plug that into your car's auxiliary. And then your phone, you would plug an auxiliary into your phone and then plug it into the auxiliary input of this device. Therefore, the sound from your phone goes into this device, it gets amplified, and then it outputs into your car stereo. That's it. That's how simple this is. And the best thing is, it also has a micro USB charger that you can charge while you're using it. So there's nothing like batteries or you know fear of the device dying on you because you can simply keep using it. And it even has an on and off switch so you can turn it off and on as you please. And a volume control knob. Now, I'll give you guys a closer look in just a sec. I'm not sponsored by these guys in any way. I just wanted to share with you guys this device I use in order to help increase the overall sound in my car. Now, let's jump in the car. I'll show you guys how this all works, how it all comes together and uh, what you get with it. This is the device right here, okay, the Neotech headphone amplifier model NTK059. That is it right there. You get your micro USB charger cable and you also get a auxiliary cable that you can use. That's all you get in the box. In order to work this, it's very simple really. So you have your audio out, audio in. You have your on and off switch and then you have your volume. You have an LED here that shows you when it's on and then you also have an LED at the back to show you when it's charging. So if I plug in my USB cable right now, it will show you that it is charging. As you can see that little red light there that's on right now, it's charging. In order to use this, turn it on. You're going to be using music from the phone. 
in that case, you plug an auxiliary pl cable, the auxiliary cable you get with it, you plug it into the phone, and then you plug that into auxiliary in, because you want the, the, the sound to come out of the phone and then into the device. And then you have to get another auxiliary cable that doesn't come with it, and then you plug it into the audio output. And then you want that audio output to go into your auxiliary for your car stereo. That's how you use this device. It's that simple, guys. Now, all you have to do is play music on your phone and it will come out of the car stereo. Now we'll play music. There we go. There you go. Alright now, just to show you guys the test I'm going to do, just to give you an example of how much more volume you can get. What I'm going to do is turn the volume all the way down and then I'm going to turn it up 15 times using the steering wheel. 18 times. So now I'm going to play music directly off my phone into the car stereo. And just show you how loud how loud it is, okay? That's off the phone. Plug it in. Okay. So the phone volume is when the volume turns blue. I've set the volume where I want the volume, so I'm not going to change that. Nor am I going to change the car volume. And this is how loud it sounds right now. We get a feel of how loud it is right now. Now I'm going to play it using the amplifier and show you that you get a lot more volume. We'll unplug that. We'll plug it into our auxiliary in. Without changing the volume on the phone, nor the car, we're going to see how much more volume we get. Already, you heard that? That was so loud. Okay, so it goes up to nine on the, on the volume dial. Okay, I'm going to turn it to where I think the volume was already the same. Alright, so right now, I have it on halfway. And it's already pretty much at the same volume that it was when I played it directly off the phone and into the car stereo. I still have half volume to go 50% more volume so I can turn it up all the way and there you go see that's just an example of how much more volume you can get with this little headphone amplifier I really do swear by this because it has definitely helped increase the volume of my car stereo when I use the auxiliary in my Lexus IS350 as you can see, I, I have this uh, multimedia interface where I can switch the cable from auxiliary to USB to iPod interface. So, you know, I really don't have that, that, the problem with auxiliary at all, but I am definitely speaking to those who have the built-in auxiliary and also other people who use auxiliary to play music off their phone or whatever device it is, and even just people in general who use headphones to play games or computer games, PlayStation, Xbox, things like that. This can also be used in that scenario as well and amplify the sound so that you get better volume coming out of your headset. It really is a very versatile device and you can use it for many different situations that involve using a 3.5mm jack to listen to music. I'll definitely leave a link in the description below where you can get the Neotech Head hi-fi headphone amplifier model NTK059 I got mine from eBay for $40 now that is dirt cheap when it when you think about the results that you get now look I know that this wasn't the 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 best um, the best example of volume because it it really doesn't um, showcase what this can actually do but I can assure you that if you do get something like this a headphone amplifier in order to help increase the overall volume of your of your stereo in your car or your headset for your 
gaming experience, then I can assure you that it really is going to work. I truly believe you will be happy with it. Now, there are many different types of um, headphone amplifiers out there, and I'm going to list probably the top five that I recommend to buy if you're going to get a headphone amplifier. This is the low end to mid range for um, the headphone amplifiers. There are a couple more out there. I do know that there is one specific one where you get to control the treble and the bass. So you have the volume control knob, but you also have a treble knob and also a bass knob. However, with quality comes price. If you're willing to spend double the money, I dare say it's about 100 to 150 dollars. I have seen this sell from $40 to $100 in Australia alone, but I managed to get mine for $40. It wasn't on sale, that is just the price of it. And I'm going to list that in the description below. So if you're interested in getting this exact one, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below so that you can get this exact one. My thoughts are that all you need is something like this. With the bass and the treble knob, although that will allow you to adjust your audio to your liking, it's almost the same thing as adjusting the volume of your bass and your treble on your system before you turn up the volume on your headphone amplifier. It's basically the same thing. Okay, basically, not exactly. I do believe that you will still get a little bit more audio tuning because you have a treble knob and a bass knob. But in the end, with something like this at the price of $40 you really cannot go wrong and it really will do exactly what you need it to do. I did not want a complicated device. I wanted a device that you could always use, a device that you could just plug in and just leave there. You know, and that's the great thing with this. It has a charging port, so you plug it in your um, USB port and you just leave it turned on. The only time that it won't function correctly is when it's running out of batteries. Now, I have heard that a few people are complaining that they're getting distortion when the battery is running low. Now, that makes sense because if there isn't enough power to power the device, then it isn't going to be able to amplify the sound the way that it should. So therefore, yes, you probably would get some distortion. You really can just leave it on. Just have your auxiliary plug out. So every time you jump in the car, all you do is you plug in your auxiliary, choose the songs you want and press play and off you go. And then you can simply control the volume with your car volume knob. You just have to set the volume on your headphone amplifier to where it is at the max volume and the clearest. Common sense will tell you that if you turn up your headphone amplifier to max and your phone all the way to max, then most likely you're going to get distortion because it isn't built to handle maximum volume on everything. And what I do recommend is that if you're going to turn your phone up to maximum, then make sure that you only turn your headphone amplifier to halfway to 75% max. That way you won't get any distortion. Or if you turn your phone to about 75% volume and then you turn your um, headphone amplifier to about 75% volume, then you're probably going to get the best sound possible. But you know, you just play with the settings, play with your car stereo settings and uh, find out which works best for you. Every car is, isn't going to be the same. I like to use 75% of both the headphone and the phone and then simply use my car stereo to turn the volume up and down. That way I'm not playing with anything and all I have to worry about is plugging in my phone, selecting the song I want and then simply turning up the volume on my car stereo. Before I leave you guys, I wanted to show you guys this cool little thing. Look at this guys. So the body is like metal and it really is built very well. It's very sturdy. It really is very small, as you can see. It's basically the size of a card. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is a card right here, and that is the size of it. It really is a no-brainer when it comes to getting one of these in order to help increase the overall volume in your car stereo because it lacks volume due to using a auxiliary plug-in. There you have it guys, a simple little device to help increase the overall sound and volume of your car stereo when using an auxiliary plug. Now remember, this also works for other devices that use a 3.5mm auxiliary jack. So if you have a device that uses a 3.5mm auxiliary jack, like headphones, when playing PlayStation, your headsets, computer games, your headsets, then Try this out, it will definitely help increase the overall volume, giving you a much better 
um, experience as well as making your music sound that much louder and better and that brings us to the end of the video if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time guys this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off until next time guys